So another day, another trade rumor for the Eagles is heating up. And I gotta tell you, this one makes a lot of sense. Yo, the cowboy, Mr. McLean. You Americans are all alike. But this time, John Wayne doesn't walk into the sunset with Grace Kelly. It's Gary Cooper, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Trails, Hans. Dallas still stinks. Yo, everybody, how you doing? King Dingba here. So another day, another Eagles trade rumor is heating up, and I gotta talk about this one because this one is actually, I think, very realistic on every level. So let's get right into it, okay? The Eagles, apparently in the reports, have contacted the Bills about acquiring Shady McCoy. Now, if you remember my video from last year, I said the Eagles should go after Shady McCoy. This was like in June of last year before the season came. It turned out the Eagles tried to get him last year. It looks like they're tra trying to talk to Buffalo again this year about Shady. Now, what's so good about this particular situation is that Shady's only making like would only be like 4.2 million dollars against our cap so he would not be that much for us we were like 11 million dollars under the cap after restructuring Fletcher Cox's contract so to get Shady McCoy in it would only cost us like 4.28 million something like that and the great thing about that is then you're in a situation where you could still go out maybe get Devonte parker or get a safety or get something else you still have money to maneuver and work and make your team better so this makes a lot of sense on a lot of fronts in my opinion now i was thinking about this myself last night like who would be the best option Le'Veon bell is he really the best option and although he would be my number one choice as far as best football player the problem I have with getting Le'Veon Bell, the problem with Le'Veon Bell that I specifically see isn't money, isn't salary. They can make all that work. What it is for me is the fact that Le'Veon Bell can't be traded until he signs his tender, which he has not signed yet, and he's not going to sign till week seven or week eight. That means we have to wait a few more weeks for him to even sign it to be able to be traded. Now, once he's traded, he has to come in, he has to learn our offense, he has to get in the game shape, he has to get in football shape. There's another two, three, four weeks. So all of a sudden, we're waiting six, seven weeks for Le'Veon Bell to be Le'Veon Bell. And by that time, if we keep with this, you know, losing and not playing well, we may be out of playoffs altogether. Now, luckily, we play in the NFC East, and that's the one good thing about the whole entire thing. But Le'Veon Bell wouldn't really help us right away. And I feel like we need help right away. We're not going to have it for the Giants game, which I will do a pre preview prediction tomorrow. But after the Giants game, we need somebody to come in and help us. Shady could come in. He knows the offense fairly well. He knows the city. He could come in and he could probably perform and play right away for us. So I really like this option. Now, my big concern with Shady is that there's no off the field issues, that there's nothing that is going to come back and haunt us and possibly get him suspended. I, we can't have any of that happen. But if it all checks out, Shady makes a lot of sense. As far as David Johnson goes and the rumor that's been out with him, I can't see Arizona trading him. I mean, I've kind of gone back and forth going, oh, maybe they will, maybe they won't. But why would they trade a running back they just signed who's 26, who is there to help your quarterback, your rookie quarterback, and take pressure off him? Wouldn't you want to build around those two guys, your offense? I don't know. It's hard to imagine. I mean, you never know. Obviously, Le'Veon Bell, David Johnson, I would love either of them. But Shady makes a lot of sense. And the reason, the main reason I like the Shady McCoy situation is he's only $4 million against the cap. If it's me, if I if I had a choice, I would bring in Shay McCoy and then I would trade for Devontae Parker. I think Devontae Parker would only be like I think he'd be like around two million under slightly under two million against the cap for us if we were to trade for him. So you could actually fill two positions. Maybe there's a safety you want to sign, maybe a guy you want to trade for, who knows? But they would have options. So Shady McCoy, I think, is a realistic possibility. I think this is probably the most realistic possibility there is. I'll say there's a 50-50 chance that the Eagles get Shady McCoy within the next few weeks. So tell me what you think. Who do you want? Would you go after Shady? And 
What do you think? Do you like the idea of getting shady and maybe a Devontae Parker and filling two two holes and two spots that you need filled or a guy on defense? What do you guys think? Let me know. So with that said, take care. Talk to you later. And don't be a dingbat.